Hi guys, this is Richard Wolf coming at you from Bolivar, at least close to the Bolivar Dam, somewhere off of Grace something road. I can't remember. <laughs> Great. But as you can see, the road is still closed here. And if we look down the road here a little ways, it is still very much flooded. Can you look around to the very surroundings here? It looks like they're doing some work on a pipeline of some sort. But my beautiful car out this way. We got some sort of e-tanks. Again, I think that's for whatever pipeline that they're working on up here. But this is definitely not normal for this area. But with all the rain and the snow that's melted over the past couple weeks and months, it's just kind of gotten to this point where it's just absolutely flooded. After moving past the road close sign, you can see that there's a small cemetery here. I hope you can hear me the wind is awful out here. But it's a nice beautiful day. It's like 74 degrees. I'm guessing it's been a couple days. This water has receded a little bit. So we walk a little bit farther down the road, you can see where the water was at at one point with all the debris that's on the road. But I'm sure this water is incredibly disgusting. All the stuff that's washed up. Look at all these cups and bottles. Look at this. This is just incredible how much this place floods when it gets to this stage. You can almost see how high the water was. Look at what I found in the tree. A squirt bottle. Can't even see what it says on there. The label's pretty washed out. I think it says high-tech shield. I have no idea what that would be for. I'll give you a better perspective of how high it is up in the tree. It's probably a good six or seven feet, maybe even eight feet. But we're getting close to the end of the road here. It's almost like we have a small little ocean here. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said too. It kind of looks like a, a mini ocean because you got the little waves coming up and in through here. Yeah. Wow, it's coming right up to my feet. Maybe this water's getting higher because it just came up to my feet. Uh, and we're not supposed to get any more rain. Look at that. Yeah. That is so neat. How often yeah. do you get to watch the ocean on a street? Well, maybe not an ocean, but like the, it's yeah. almost like you're on the beach. Like we just the need, current, the waves and the current. Yeah, just need to uh, get yourself a couple lawn chairs, crack open a beer or something. <laughs> enjoy the breeze. It's 75 degrees out here now. This is amazing. But this goes all the way down to Duber Avenue, southwest. You can barely see that intersection is down there it's almost like right there where it would turn 
but it's not as deep as it was. At one point, I'm sure this was close to 15 feet deep. Now, if we were to keep on going down this hill a little bit, we're going to go down much more than four or five. Yeah, at one point, the water was above those floodgates. You couldn't even see the floodgates. It was almost halfway up that hill up here. Go past those floodgates. My car would be underwater right now if it was about two or three weeks ago. About halfway uh, up that hill. Looks like there's a little path up here. It's like a public hunting area. Are you like that? I wash my shoes off. Yeah, this is still incredibly soft. My wife almost lost her shoe. I told her she's not getting back in my car with those muddy shoes. She's gonna go play in some water and wash them off. I'm actually gonna do the same thing. On the way here, we saw all sorts of different road construction signs. And they did patch the road in different places where there was some potholes because of the water getting into the pavement. But obviously they can't get very far. There were no construction vehicles. But they do have signs up and one of them is still halfway underwater. All the water that's been up through this area is taken down quite a bit of the brush it's all kind of matted down a little bit and all that trash is just collected up here on this, this side of the road too back up at the top of the road here where we parked there's the the gates again another look at the incredible flooding that's still here Oh, by the way, the road name is Gracemont. Just remembered. And if you were to look out here, you can see a couple tires just sitting up there by themselves. The water carried them there. You can see way up there, there's still some sitting up there in one of the grooves. Isn't that funny? Just sitting there. But I'll take you to where I think the water was when we came here the first time. Let's walk up here a little ways. You can probably see it too by how the brush is matted down a little bit. I think it was pretty much almost right here. I think it was about right here where the water line was the first time we were here. So that gives you a little bit of a perspective of how much water there really was here to cover those floodgates alone. So I don't know how high I've climbed from there, but that would be incredibly deep. Not something I'd want to swim in either.
Aww. Looks like alcohol abuse. <laughs>